Hello, folks, and welcome to another edition of the Dr. Mark Foster Show. I hope that you all uh, liked that uh, session that I gave the last time uh, with uh, my hypnotic regression. Uh, I've gotten some uh, rather interesting responses to it. Uh, they've ranged from uh, people who thought that uh, it was a fascinating regression, and I came up with some really uh, good spiritual information, uh, to some people who were arguing that uh, uh, I didn't seem to be hypnotized at all, that I seemed uh, very rational, and uh, other people um, who said that they thought that the hypnotist was a um, a bit uh, manipulative and that she was uh, attempting to lead me uh, in, in a certain direction. Um, I would partially agree with uh, some of uh, those comments, not all of them. Uh, I do agree that to an extent uh, that the hypnotist uh, was leading me. Um, I think that uh, she apparently had certain kinds of understandings or preconceptions or views of what um, a session would be like. Uh, my own, perhaps, worldview uh, is considerably different from hers. Uh, she uh, struck me as a bit of a New Ager, uh, perhaps a Wiccan, um, and um, uh, my views are very different from that. And uh, so I think that some of the things that I said uh, literally uh, didn't make any sense to her. In terms of my not uh, being hypnotized, uh, yeah, uh, I was. Um, uh, I've been uh, self-hypnotizing myself uh, since I was about 15 years old, if not earlier. Um, I can get into a hypnotic state extremely quickly. Uh, part of that, I think, is just based on the fact that I have been doing it for a long time. Part of it is the uh, meditative practice I started a few years ago, which in many respects is uh, quite similar uh, to hypnosis. In fact, I use uh, certain hypnotic induction techniques uh, in the uh, meditation practice. And uh, part of it, I think, is uh, simply just my temperament, uh, that I am uh, perhaps by temperament fairly suggestible, um, and uh, that I learn rather easily. And so I think that uh, for all of those reasons, I, uh, I was hypnotized. On the other hand, uh, I am also an autistic, and being an autistic, um, I do tend to be very rational. Last uh, few years, especially since I started practicing the meditation I do, and I came into contact with my guardian angel, uh, Hadrat Sultan Bahu, my heart was opened, and I'm now much more um, emotional, heart-centered, I guess uh, by the common expression, uh, right-brained than I used to be. I used to be almost entirely left-brained or cerebral. In fact, I defined myself as a cerebral person, and I was quite proud of that at one time. But um, under hypnosis, I think that I, I was literally regressed. And um, uh, I was regressed, I think, partially to a state of mind that I had back when I was much more autistic. And when I am being very autistic, I do tend to be rather analytical. Um, I do tend to speak uh, rather rapidly because I'm not aware of what I'm communicating. I'm thinking in my head about what I want to say, but not about whether uh, the person or persons I'm addressing uh, are necessarily understanding what I'm saying. So I think that um, that might explain why I sounded a bit um, uh, nervous, uh, why I did sound analytical, but um, uh, I know that I was in a very deep state of hypnosis. Uh, there were certain things that um, I remembered um, about my experience or my experiences that I did not recall before. And in fact, um, after the hypnosis session was over, there were some things that I 
had forgotten about and I didn't recall them until I received the um, DVD in the mail uh, with that regression on it. Um, first time I played it back uh, I actually went back into a hypnotic state. I closed my eyes and I was back there. Uh, next time I listened to it I made a point of keeping my eyes open and that way I did not fall back into that hypnotic state. But uh, I certainly was um, very, very much hypnotized. Um, I don't know if it was the most hypnotized I've been, but uh, certainly it's the only time I've ever been hypnotized by somebody else as a regression. Uh, all the other hypnosis sessions I've had have been done for other reasons. Uh, one or two were when I volunteered uh, for a, an entertainer hypnotist on a stage. Uh, other times it was um, uh, therapeutic hypnosis, but, um, but this time was actually a regression and a regression to not only um, my previous experiences as a, um, as a contactee or as I prefer an emancipee, but supposedly to my previous lives. And it's for that reason that I wanted to uh, make that clarification right now. And that is because from the perspective of my religion, the Baha'i Faith, there is no reincarnation. Or at least there is no reincarnation in the way in which it is generally understood. Meaning that the individual human soul after it leaves this world goes on into the spiritual kingdom beyond and continues to develop until it attains to the presence of God. The individual soul does not specifically come back to this world and so there is no reincarnation literally the soul does not incarnate back into a physical body over and over again. There is also no transmigration, also called metempsychosis, which is reincarnation on steroids. Reincarnation, in other words, which includes uh, uh, animals, uh, perhaps even vegetables, the idea that we can also uh, reincarnate into various other species besides human beings. That idea also is not um, taught in the Baha'i Faith. What is taught, however, is that there is a return. And this is just my understanding of it. Bear in mind, I'm not conveying any kind of an official Baha'i viewpoint on this. I'm only presenting my own views on it. Um, but as I see it, just like the prophet of God in each age returns and although Christ and Buddha and Muhammad and Baha'u'llah are all separate individual souls they also are manifestations of the same spirit the Holy Spirit the attributes of God and so, in a sense, they are different, they are different beings, but in another sense, they are all the same. They share the same continuity of mission or progressive revelation. Similarly, what I personally think is that that same basic pattern might hold true for us as well. That different souls, entirely different souls, may come to this world and share attributes with souls who have come before and with souls who will follow. And so in that same basic sense of um, a return of prophets, there is a return of ordinary human beings with similar attributes or similar spirit 
or similar mission. What I think that perhaps people are remembering who have so-called past life regressions is not themselves, but the beings who came before them and perhaps after them who share that same basic mission or spirit. In the worlds of the kingdom, there is in reality no separation. As Roy Baskar explains it, there is a cosmic envelope, unity, non-duality. On the deepest level of our beings, we are all one. We are not separate. We are co-present with each other. We are present with each other all the time. We are connected not only to other human beings, but to everything, to all existence. So that, I think, is the reality of existence, that there is that connectedness and in particular there are certain types of connections connections of mission which play out as the same or similar spirit similar combinations of attributes are manifested in this world again and again and again just like every spring we see flowers and we look and we say oh that's the return of the flowers from the last spring. Well, in reality, uh, it's not the same flowers, but it's the same spirit, or in a sense, the same mission. They're doing the same thing. They're having the same basic effect. So that's my understanding of what I was describing um, in my hypnotic regression. Now, um, the hypnotist um, would not have agreed with me. Uh, she very clearly believed in reincarnation and uh, that came through very strongly in a conversation that the two of us had before the regression started and I still think that she had some resistance to the fact that I don't believe in reincarnation in that sense uh, during the hypnosis and uh, so in a way there was almost a a kind of battling of of minds uh, that was going on during the regression which I thought was rather unfortunate but in spite of that um, I think that it was overall um, a good experience um, I would recommend it to others uh, on the other hand um, what I would suggest is that if you are planning on um, on doing this that you uh, make sure that the person is reliable trustworthy. Uh, a person can be damaged by a hypnotist. So make sure that the person you go to is somebody that um, is not, does not have a bad reputation, somebody that is reputable. Uh, maybe find somebody that can refer you to that, to that person and so forth. Until next time, this is Dr. Mark Foster. Have a good one.